That's better. I've got a new setup where I'm um, trying to stream on the other side of the room, which is what I was trying to say just now. So, hello. Hopefully it looks and sounds okay. I'm really struggling to get a setup working on this side of the room, so... Hopefully you can see everything alright. Hopefully the frame rate's okay. I'm trying to watch the stream back. It looks a little bit blurry, but we can deal with it. How's the audio levels? Do they sound okay? So anyway, as I was saying, I picked Timber as the main character to play through this as because apparently he was supposed to be... And it also says that the connection's unstable. Average stream bitrate too high. Is that right, or does it look okay? I think it seems okay. I'm not really sure what I can do if there is anything wrong with it. I'll figure this out over time anyway. But anyway, as I was saying, Timber here was supposed to be the main character. <laughs> There's a balloon. And I forgot how slippery these controls are. Oh my god. Let's see whether that hinders me when we get into a race or not. There you go. So the whole idea with this is that it's more of an adventure game than a straight up racing game. So it's really cool in the fact that you basically get to explore these different areas and you pick up the balloons like I just did there and then they open the doors to the levels themselves. Here we go, the bitrate seems to fix itself. So this is the first level, Ancient Lake. And yes, I still remember when to press to get the turbo. So it's a little bit different to Mario Kart in the fact that the um, the power-ups aren't random. You can actually tell uh, ah, what they're going to be straight away. And well, it does feel a bit weird going back to play this game after so long. And there's a little secret there if you let go of the A button as you're going over one of those boosts, then you can go a little bit faster. And there's something really interesting, or really frustrating, should I say. Uh, basically, you have to revisit all of the tracks and collect special Nintendo coins. And you need to collect all of them and come in first place. So I'll try and save up an extra power up here, because the idea is with these balloons that you choose which colour you want, and then, like, if we go through another blue one here, you can see that it's now powered up. And it didn't really do much because that dinosaur got in the way, but basically that means that I got a stronger version of the boost there, and I finished way ahead of everyone else. So, like I was saying before I realised that my microphone wasn't doing anything, let me know whether you've ever played Diddy Kong Racing before. Is it one of your childhood favourites, like it is for me? That'd be really cool to know. But I'm very much looking forward to playing through it again, so... Hope you all enjoy. Settle down this evening and play a comfy game of Diddy Kong Racing. Let's go into Fossil Canyon next. And I can't wait to get back to some of the later levels, because I remember there's some really cool tracks in this game too. And the music is just incredible, so hopefully you can all hear the game music. Okay. Oh no, I missed the speed up. There is a bit just down here where if you, um, if you go down there you can actually get stuck in the water. Which can be quite frustrating. It's also pretty cool if you tap the brake as well, you can do a, uh, a sharp turn like that. So now you can see that I've powered up the missiles to the max. So now I have 10 individual missiles. Or I did have before I went into that speed boost, so let's use that. I think I'm too good for this game, where is everyone? The green ones there, they're basically oil slicks. They're basically this game's equivalent of bananas in a Mario Kart game. Let's try and get one. And you can basically just... Let's put it down next to... Uh, next to something where I know people will be. Maybe the tunnel down here on the left. So, put it down like that. That one's put a spiky, like, ball in the air, so... Hopefully that one catch out whoever's behind me. Not that I really need to worry, because I'm way ahead of everyone anyway. The game does get more challenging though. It gets a lot more challenging. And there's also a really cool thing where there's different um, vehicles. So you've got a hovercraft, you've got an aeroplane, which is really cool. 
So if you just saw there, someone else quite annoying that game. And my one. Oh no, there's one up here too! I was about to say my one's still there. Oh, we got all three power ups. The bubble, if I remember right, actually lifts you into the air, which can be really annoying. Oh no! Right on the finish line. That's a good question, actually. I don't know which one came out first. Uh, let's have a look. I've got my laptop here. So, Diddy Kong Racing came out on the 31st of October 1997, and Mario Kart 64 came out on the 19th of December 1996. So, Mario Kart 64 came out about a year before. But um, apparently, as Rare was making this, they didn't really compare the game to uh, Mario Kart 64 at all. It actually started out as an adventure racing game, and then it became a sequel to a NES game called RC Pro-Am. Called Pro-Am 64. Or Pro-AM 64, I guess. For these ones, I actually like to try and keep the um, homing missile. I think that's a bit of a better power-up than the other one. I don't know. This one's pretty interesting because you can actually use it as like a, a magnet. Wow, I forgot how fun this game is to control. Once you uh, once you get the drifting down, you can actually pull off some really cool, cool tricks. And I love the uh, level layouts as well, they're all so memorable. Put some oil down there on that speed booster. I can't remember whether you spin out or not if you drift too much in this game. That might be Mario Kart that I'm thinking of, but I'm trying not to drift too much just in case. I know there's one game where if you drift too much or if you hold the stick in the wrong direction for too long, then you can actually spin out, which is really annoying, so hopefully it's not this one. Hopefully I don't find out. Anyway, uh, Mary Jolly also said, when I lived in an apartment a few years ago, my neighbour nicknamed me Diddy Kong because I played on the SNES Mini almost non-stop for a week. <laughs> That's pretty fun. What were you playing, Donkey Kong Country 1 or 2? I can't remember what's on the SNES Mini actually. So we've actually done all of the levels that we can do in here. As you can see, the other one needs five. But I've only got four, so if we exit this stage, we can go and check out one of the other worlds. And I'm not sure whether we can get other uh, vehicles just yet. Let's go and speak to Taj and see whether we can or not. Hello, friends. Yeah, we can. We can get all three right from the start. So. Let's check out the hovercraft and I'll show you where you can take that. So with the hovercraft you can go down here onto the beach. And later on you get to go in that lighthouse and fly off into space which is pretty cool. But with the hovercraft you can come in here. Oh we can't go in there yet, we need 10. It's been a long time since I played this from scratch so I can't really remember where you can go on up. I think there's a balloon over here. Yeah, there you go. So there's still some elements of adventure in, in this game. Not as much as what they first originally planned, I don't think. But anyway, now we've got five, we can go back to that last level in the first area. And I think there's another one hidden behind one of the waterfalls. Maybe behind here? Oh no, that's another area. I'm sure hidden behind one of them there's something. You can also go through this tunnel here. I'm not sure if the hovercraft's the right vehicle to use for this though. On the DS one as well, if you come through here, you can actually blow out all of the uh, candles on the wall. I guess it's not the right time to go through there yet. Here's some more. Oh no, you need the aeroplane for this one. I remember there's something up here? Maybe I can go there in the hovercraft. I don't think so though. Up this side here. 
Uh, oh, maybe I can. Let's try. Uh, it's really slippery. Yeah, we can. There we go. Can we pick it up though? Yes. There's another one. So that's six. How many did that need? Ten? Yeah, ten. Alright, let's go back to the main levels. Not in the hovercraft, though. Let's go back to being in the car again. Hello, friends. Select your vehicle. Kazam! Taj is such a fun character as well. There's also boss fights in this, which is pretty interesting for a racing game. There we go, now we can go in here. Hot Top Volcano! Oh yeah. Conkers in this before he went all weird and sweary. Okay, apparently you need to go in the aeroplane for this one. I love the way they mixed up all these different um, vehicles as well. It makes the game feel a lot more fresh and unique compared to Mario Kart. You can also double tap to do tricks like that too. I think you can also do a backflip. Uh, let's try it. Yeah, there you go. Or a front flip. I'm just showing off now. I'm so far ahead. I don't remember it being this easy. Maybe I was just really bad as a kid. I was watching something recently. There was like a, a Japanese streamer or something who'd been playing this and they were really laughing about the music in this level. Where he goes, Hoo-yah, 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 hoo-yah. It's got really cool music. David Wise at his best. I do not remember it being this easy though. I haven't had any competition at all yet. Too easy. Too easy. Piece of cake. Ooh, now we get to face the boss. If I remember right, this first one is like a, a race up a mountain. Let's go and check it out. See whether I can do it first try. Yo, what's up? Leah Brianna, hello. Look at that terrible cutscene with the weird, weird animations. I remember really struggling with this as a kid, but hopefully as an adult I'm a little bit uh, better of a gamer. I spoke too soon. Let's try and get these missiles, see if we can catch them up. If you get two, like I said, you get the homing missile. Ah! Which will definitely help. Or maybe... Just try and boost up them. Ah, oh, I just missed him. Damn it. Oh, there's one on the left there as well. Damn. You actually have to face all the bosses twice as well and... Uh, they do get a lot more challenging the second time round. No, I just missed him again. And I missed the speed up. You have to get right on the inside line there. Let's see if we can get this one. No, oh, I'm too scared. I missed everything again. And for some reason slowed down there too. Now I remember why people say that these bosses are annoying. Ah, oh no! Okay, I failed. I'll try and power up the missiles, yes. 
Let's try and get the power-ups. Try and get a better boost at the start as well. That's more promising. Okay, there's the next one. Line it up! Oh, he's flattened me! Okay, boost! Yes, that got him. Let's slow him down a little bit. Oh, yeah, you do spin out as well. Damn. The races were super easy, but this boss is already kicking my ass. Come back! I think I've failed this. Look how far ahead he is. Well, I can't even see him. That's how far ahead he is. Can I shoot around the corner? Not sure. There he is. I'll try it. Yes, it did work. Okay, now we're gaining on him. Slightly. Come on. What is it with rare and loving spiral mountains? Oh no. Uh, it's close. Oh my god, this is actually tense. No! Ah, oh, he squashed me right at the end! Ah, oh, now I can't get up the hill. Damn, that was close. Okay, let's try again. Okay, you don't need to rub it in. Okay. I don't know how they expected kids to do that, that's difficult. Considering how easy the actual race was. Alright, let's try again. Get ready! I'm gonna focus this time. Don't squash me! I'm just gonna try and stay to the side a little bit. Uh. Shake it off. Yeah! Restart. Oh my god, I can't believe how challenging this is. I do not remember struggling this much. I know that people say it's difficult, but wow. Oh. I don't really know how to aim these missiles either. No, not like that. New tactic. Let's try and use a speed boost. How did that not hit him? Ah, oh, how did that not hit him either? Oh my god. Okay, right, stay right on the left here, if I remember right. Oh, stay on the left somewhere. No, I missed it! Oh, this is too hard. I might have to go and do some of the races and then come back to this. Go! Don't squash me! Okay, that's good. That's gave me a good head start. I'll use that to get a bit further ahead again. This is kind of reminding me of uh, F Zero GX, the uh, the single player races where you have like the opponents. I'm sure there's one of them where you're racing along the cliffside like this, with boulders falling down. I can't remember what character it is. Though. I'm also scared about drifting too much because, uh, like you saw earlier, you can uh, spin out of control if you're drifting too much. Oh no! No! It's not fair! Why do you have to squash you as well? Ah, oh, I should have got that. At least it's tight enough now that I can keep drifting without worrying about spinning out. Right, does he slow down at the top? I think so. Oh, yes! 
Oh, that was so close! Oh my god. That was intense. Wow. Yes, that was very close. Apparently one of the original ideas they had for this game was to actually be able to ride the dinosaurs. Now, this is what I was telling you, where you have to go back to the levels and collect all of the silver coins. Which makes it even more challenging, because you need to find eight of them in every level, and you also have to come in first place. I've got something special for you. Try pressing brake when skidding. I know, I was doing that. Weren't you watching me, Tarj? Right. So, we can either stay here and do the coin challenges, or we can go and check out another area. Let's go and check out another area, then we can come back here a bit later on. Is it going to give me something for finishing the boss? Oh yeah, test your driving skills, you've got to race around the island. I forgot about these. You just have to follow these Nintendo 64 flags. Which uh, is very easy because it's literally just a straight circle. A straight circle? A curvy circle? You can probably do the entire thing just drifting like this actually. How's this for skills? No flying carpet can match this. But if you hold it down too long, you spin out of control, so... That's why I'm sort of wiggling back and forth here. Yeah, there we go, we beat him. We almost overlapped him. Hello, friend. Take this as a reward. Do I get a balloon? Yay! Hey, give it me then. I wasn't expecting a helium balloon. Right, where should we go next? Shall we try out the snow area? For that, I think we need an aeroplane. So let's go and ask him for an aeroplane. Hello, friend. Select your vehicle. Or I'll just a, a plane, as they call it. Bye-bye for, for now. And then we can fly, if I remember right, through here. And then we can go in there. Although, I think, if we keep going this way, I think there's another area with another balloon hidden somewhere on the other side of this. Uh, here somewhere? Or maybe that's only in the DS version. Oh yeah, here. Or do you come back here later? I can't remember. Maybe you come back here later, because I think the tunnel opens up, if I remember right. It has been a long time since i played it. Okay. Let's see what happens if I go in this way. Yes. Oh, it is open already. Can't remember that. I'm sure there's something to do with a secret down there. Anyway, let's check out the uh, snow levels through here. I always like doing that spin around to go through the door as well. So, this is Snowflake Mountain. Let's start with Everfrost Peak. I'm going to turn the uh, sound up on my screen a little bit, because the music is so, so good in this game. Let's see if these levels are a bit more challenging, because the other ones were a little bit of a piece of cake. You can actually use the speed boosts on the floor if you uh, if you go low enough to the ground. And as always, try and get the homing missile. That's the best one. And then try and stay in first so you don't need to use it. Uh, I remember there was one there. You have to go really low down to the floor though, like when you bounce off it. I think, anyway. Let's try. Yeah. Uh, and then go straight into the wall. Oh, how did I not get that one? Never mind, I got a speed boost instead. I can't remember what the bananas do, or if they actually do anything at all. Oh, I missed it. Again, I'm not having much competition, though, in the race. It only seems like it's the bosses that, that are uh, a challenge. Oh yeah, you can also go into these sideways and they actually line you up with the uh, rest of the course, which is pretty nice. Oh. 
Yeah, if anyone knows what the bananas do, let me know, because I really can't remember. Do they make you go a little bit faster? Are they kind of like coins in Mario Kart? There was actually supposed to be a uh, game like this on the GBA as well. Banjo Pilot, originally, or Diddy Kong Pilot. And I think I showed it off on a video a while ago. There was actually a uh, pre-release version that was in, like, voxel-based 3D, which is really cool. Based exactly on the same gameplay as this, but obviously that didn't amount to anything in the end. So, Walrus Cove. Which is a shame, because it was really impressive for the GBA. So I'm a bit sad that that never actually became a, uh, a full game. And I would love to try and track down rares of the Game Boy Advance games at some point too. That would be uh, that would make for a really cool video, I think. Although I'm not sure how expensive they are. I've never even seen Saber Wolf anyway. I love this music too. Do I try and get the triple blue power-ups? Oh yeah, if you touch the... Oh, I'll have to use it there anyway. If you touch the floor on these ice levels, you just bounce all over the place, which can be really frustrating, so... Stay off the floor. At all costs. Ooh, loop the loop. Uh-oh. I don't know why the AI has been so lenient on me though. I haven't seen anyone in the whole game so far. Am I just too good? Let's take the other path this time, see if there's anything on the right. <clears throat> I hardly ever go on the right, so I can't really remember what's up there. Not much. Someone went that way. They put one of their traps down. Well, I don't need to worry about that. I like how the music goes faster on the final lap as well. It's just nice to just sit down and play a childhood game like this on a CRT as well, just how I remember it. Obviously you guys aren't really seeing it in the same sort of fidelity as I am, so hopefully the way I've got the capture set up doesn't look too bad, because the N64 is only using... Uh, yeah, there you go, you can see the bouncing floor. Because it's only using composite cables, it might not look great, because I had to use the really cheap SCART um, HDMI upscaler, instead of the OSSC, but hopefully it looks okay. And there's another race down. How many is that now? Ten. Now we can go to the other area too. But let's get through the rest of these snowy levels first. Where to next? I'm just going in the order that they're supposed to be tackled, so... Snowball Valley's next. I don't remember this level. I remember all the other ones. Oh, it's this one. This one's really annoying if you're trying to get all the coins. And as you can see, there's an arrow there, but you can actually go to the left as well, and one of the coins are actually in a tunnel down there. Which, if I remember right, it's really frustrating to get to. And then you've got this bit with the snowballs that roll down the hill. Shall I try and take the path on the left? Let's try. You have to go a bit slower because it's a bit narrower. So yeah, there's one of the coins there. I don't know whether that's actually a shortcut or not. Uh, oh, hi. I think because I had the shield, I didn't get squashed then. But yeah. In some ways, I feel like the coin challenges are where the game actually gets interesting. Because these races are way too easy. That's the, uh, that's the one takeaway I've got from playing this again. I say as I crash into the wall. Twice.
Oh, I almost... Almost messed up there. There we go. I just wanted to see an NPC, that's all. Such a weird character model. Look at his <laughs> weird trunk. It's just a blue line going down his face. I've never really studied them in that much detail before, so it's kind of funny to see. Where to you next? Frosty Village. I remember really enjoying this level. Frosty Village. Get ready! I love the music on this one as well. This might be my favourite music outside of one of the space levels. At least. This is just absolute classic. Peak David wise. I was listening to one of the conversation episodes with him and Kev Bayless earlier. It was fun to listen to. About their Salamandos project. Oh my god, I'm not in first. Out of the way. What's her name? Tipsy, I think. Why has the AI suddenly decided to get more challenging? It should have been like this from the start. I still don't know what the uh, bananas do. Oh, I got another one. Don't boost away from me, Diddy Kong. Get back here. I know it's your game, but even so. There we go, got him. And he dropped his bananas. I never realised they drop their bananas when they get hit before. It must be something to do with making you go faster. Maybe improve the top speed or something. Oh no, I missed the power up. Oh, I missed the uh, speed booster, more crucially. And I missed the other one. Oh no. Does that mean someone's coming up behind? I'm not going to miss that one. Oh, this one. Yay, there we go. Nice finish at least. I wonder whether this boss is going to be as challenging as the first one. Here we go. This one you get to race a walrus if I remember right. Or is it like a whale or an octopus or something? It's been a long time. Let's go and find out. I remember as a kid being really impressed with the voice acting as well. Here, listen to this. <laughs> so impressive, oh my god. And there's like no animation, he just slowly bobs up and down. It was impressive for the time, okay? That's not fair, why did he get a head start? Look at him. What a narcissist, he's got his own head above the tunnel. Of the uh, floaty controls of the uh, hovercraft. I think you can jump over these as well to get a little bit of extra height. Yeah. Oh no, that slowed me down then. And I missed the blue power up. Hopefully, I didn't need it. There we go, we got that one. Let's use it straight away. I'm doing a lot better this time. Although he is right behind me, according to the map. I think the really challenging one, from what I remember, is the octopus. He's like chasing you through these caves on the water and he's dropping bombs behind him or something. Did the boss just crash or something? He was miles away at the end. Not sure what happened there. That was easier. A lot easier. Well done! Is that what Walrus is saying, like? 
We're going to have to tackle the silver coins at some point. I'll go and do the other normal races first, though, I think. I've got something special for you. Hey, he's telling me something I already knew. Take your finger off before you go on the accelerator. And then you get a rainbow cloud, which is pretty cool. So, uh, we are done here. Oh yeah, there is some other stuff to do as well. Like, I'll show you this. There's a key that's hidden in each area. And you can use them to open that door there. And there's also time trials. And somewhere in the level as well, there's like a, a box. There you go. A trophy thing for when you've completed it. To do the trophy race. We have to do everything else first, and we'll come back to that. But for now, let's move on to the next area. I just love the way this game's structured. It's just so good. Now we're going to do a hovercraft challenge. Where's it going to take me? Oh yeah, through the waterfall. I almost missed that. The hovercraft controls a bit weirdly, so I'm still trying to get used to it. It's been a long time since i played. I think I'm getting hung of it. You have to turn quite early. Uh, and the brakes don't really do anything. Uh, line up to go under the waterfall? Oh, not yet. I almost went under the wrong one. Ah, oh, I can't see. I want to know if Taj is like hitting his head against the wall as well like I am. He must be. Look how far back, far back he is. Oh, I hit my head there again twice giant whiz pig on the wall. We'll get to race him later. Uh, sharp turn. I remember he was really challenging. Wow, I'm nearly half a lap ahead. What happened? Are you okay, Taj? Has your carpet got a hole in it? Yay. Easy. Hello, friend. Now we get another balloon. Yay, it's like a big party. There's also, see those frogs that are bouncing around? I'm not sure if it's in this version or if it's just in the DS one, but you can unlock a secret character by running one of the frogs over. I don't think it's in this one though. Oh, you can still squash them. But they don't seem to really do anything. Let's see. Maybe the hovercraft's not the easiest. I might look that up actually, just to see if you can unlock drumstick and other characters. Uh, anyway, shall we use the hovercraft to go to the hovercraft levels? Let's do that. Go in here now, because we need a ten. Shepherd Island. Shepherd Island. Whoa, watch out! Oh no, I didn't mean to hit him. Hey, look, it's that weird stopwatch from uh, whatever that pirate game is called, Sea of Thieves. Hi, I'm TT. You can ask me about your game status or select my time trial mode to practice level. I can also save your best ghosts. Game status. That just tells you what you've collected, so at the moment, not much. Okay. And time okay. trial is off, so I want to play through the story. Out of the way. You can unlock him as a playable character, I think, or at least you could on the N64 one. I presume you can on this one, too. Well, I want to get that boost, but it's too far on the other side. Go. Not worth trying. Fantastic music again. 
Oh, he doesn't come up yet. Oh, he does! Damn it! You can go up there and get a bit of a shortcut. Hey, this is like Wave Race. I was playing Wave Race 64 recently, actually. That's a fantastic game, too. Ah! You know, he got stuck on that palm tree, then. Let's see if he's going to come up again. Don't trick me! Thank you! Hey! Alex Canto Bounds. Hello! How are you doing this evening? Or this afternoon? I don't know what time it is in your part of the world. I'm glad you could drop by. Have you decided if you're going to download the ROM and give it a go on an emulator? This afternoon, cool. Hopefully I'm not distracting you from work or school or anything. Yeah, we get another balloon. I think that's 14 now. Yeah, 14. Oh, cool. Enjoy. I was just saying it's a shame that it's not actually on the Switch officially. It's quite sad. Right, where is the next level? This one here. Present Island. I really like this one. I think you start in a car. Yeah. Later on, you can actually come back to these levels with different vehicles as well. But that's something that's really cool about this game, is the fact that you can change your vehicles. And they all control really differently as well. Oh yeah, that magnet as well, that is if there's a opponent in front of you, you can use it to uh, kind of pull yourself over to him. Which is a nice uh, concept, but you don't see that often. I'm going to try and save just the two um, missiles. And I still don't know what the bananas do. Uh, 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 okay, have one. Oh my god, someone hit me too! Oh yeah, there's a shortcut here as well. If you time it right, you can cut that corner out like that. That helped. Let's take the inside line. You might recognise this bit from the intro to the game. I think it's where Crunch drives through in the intro. Now I'm ready with my homing missile for when I inevitably crash into the wall again. There is a second layer to this, but I've never really found a reason to go up that high on the pirate ship. Oh yeah, that was a nice corner there. Let's see if I can do it again. Sharp turn. Oh yeah, perfect. Look at that. Hopefully Sarah's able to get the door. Someone's at the door. It is her paper delivery for MCM stuff. Right, I'm not, I'm not going to... Oh, I said I wasn't going to risk it, but okay, the game wants me to take the shortcut. Sure, I'll just do that three times in a row. Another easy race. Thank you. I'm checking my YouTube stats in the background because I'm almost on 30,000 subscribers. That's quite exciting. Now we are on Pirate Lagoon, which is another level that I really enjoy. And another level that reminds me a lot of uh, Wave Race 64. I, don't, I never understood why this part of the level is so open. Like, you only have to go in a straight line, but it really opens out into a big area, though, for no real reason. Uh, this music's so good as well. 
Can you all hear the music okay on the stream, or am I talking too much? Whee! That was a good shot, though. I'll try and get all three um, blue balloons if I can. I can show you what the ultimate powered up version of the speed boost is. Oh no, I missed it. Mind. Yes, there we go. Now if I can line it up in a good spot. You don't get anything for getting four, unfortunately. Right, we'll use it here. Woo! You go so fast, the camera can't keep up with you. Sounds good. Excellent. Enjoy David Wise's amazing compositions. They're so catchy. Yay! That was a good race. I'm getting sad, there's not that many more levels to play and then we'll just have to go through them again and collect all the coins. Oh yeah, something interesting that I can point out. You see the propeller on the back of the hovercraft? That entire thing is just a 2D sprite and it just moves with the camera to give you the illusion that there's actually a fan in there. Which I think is really clever. Like, It doesn't actually exist. It's just so clever, the way they did that. And... As you've noticed, all the characters are actually fully 3D models as well, which is quite unusual for the N64. Right, treasure caves, and I've just got enough balloons for it. This is one that you can come back to with the aeroplane at the end. Hello. He's asleep on my chair. You can have him if you want. Ah, I was just about to use my uh, speed booster then. Plato's awake now. Maybe I'll come and join us on stream. Yeah, see up there, that second uh, door in, in the roof. You can fly through that if you've got the airplane. Ah, every time. I always found this section spooky as a kid. Ooh, a ghost chip. Again, where's the NPCs? Why am I so far ahead? Ow. That was my fault for complaining. Oh my god, I was going to say let's see whether we can get through there and actually keep the blue one, but no. Apparently not. These races are really fast, a lot faster than I remember. Which makes it even more challenging to go back and get the coins afterwards. And you'll see that in a bit. Basically you have to find five silver coins in each stage. And you also need to finish the race in first place as well. And obviously it's a lot harder to stay in first when you have to veer off the uh, courses in order to find all the coins. Alright, here we go. Boss number three. And this is the race against the octopus, if I remember right. Yeah, there he is. Looks like something out of Banjo Kazooie. I love the weird voice acting. Okay, so you have to watch out because he throws like bombs behind him the entire time. So. And get on. There you, go. you can see that he just dropped one there. So you don't want to stay behind him because it's really dangerous. Oh, I thought that was a balloon. It was just one of the uh, things around the side of the course. No. It'd be no fun if I did it on the first try, would it? Uh, the controls in the hovercraft are so sluggish. Oh, I nearly got him. I should have saved up for that and got a homing one instead. Double speed boost. Oh, 
Oh, really? I thought that got him, man. Must have just missed. All the collision detections won't go. More likely. That got him. If that missed, well, then I'd be annoyed, because that was a direct hit. Ah! I thought I would be safe taking the inside line. No, now he's gone around the corner. Yes. Oh, I'm scared being that close to him. No! Oh, the finish is just there as well. Go on! Stop him! No, too late. Oh, I was close. It was a fun race at least. Boom, 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 boom. I'm ready now. Let's do it. I remember this one causing me trouble as a kid as well. And if you think the bosses are hard this time, you actually have to come back and fight them again to get one of the trophies. So it can be even more challenging. Oh, somehow I managed to dodge that one. Not that one though. Maybe going around the inside there isn't the best idea. This section in this tunnel kind of reminds me of Pokemon Snap. I feel like there should be uh, a bell sprout in there or something. Oh my god, hitting all the trees! This might be one of the only times where actually getting the three red um, balloons in a row might be beneficial, because then you've got ten attempts to hit him rather than just one. Oh my god! We're neck and neck. Oh my god, he almost put that in front of him. That wouldn't be fair. Okay, let's go there and get the other one. Well, we've got a bit of a uh, backup just in case anything happens. I'll just try and keep that now because I think I'm pretty safe to just follow the course now that I'm in front. doesn't seem to be coming up on me, so that's good. I don't think there's any way of looking behind. Oh, apparently I can change the map into a speedometer. For some reason. I don't know why you would need to know how fast you're going, but... The option's there, I guess. Well done. I'm gonna try and get all the silver coins. It is a rare game, after all. So, there is one more area, and that's the place behind the waterfall. So, let's go and do them first. I can't remember what this is. I presume when you fully complete one of the worlds, then that opens something. Because I remember eventually you can use that lighthouse to uh, go up into the sky for some reason. Uh, where is the secret area? It's inside one of these waterfalls. Is there anything in that one? No. Nope. Uh, it's just a wall. Of course, every good video game has its secret waterfall areas. There we go. Now we can go into the final area. And we can start here, Greenwood Village. And I think this is where I'll actually run out of balloons and I'll have to go and do some of the challenges. I love the aesthetics of these levels as well, like these medieval towns to race through. It's really cool. And there's a secret in this level as well, but I've never really found a use for it. You can basically go in that well in the middle. And it throws you out there, but it takes longer to get inside it, and why would there be any reason to go in there? I don't know. Maybe one of the coins is hidden in there, actually.
Let's put the oil down on the speed booster. Ah, oh, even though I actually missed the speed boost. Never mind. Ah, yeah. oh, Diddy Kong. Just because it's your game. Shall I go in there? Let's try. There you go. And then it just throws you out right there. Maybe it is a little bit faster. If you're slow enough getting into it anyway. So you don't bang into the walls. Let's see what's on this side. I never go this side. Ah, with good reason. There's nothing in there. What a waste of time. Oh my god, I'm sliding all over the place. Let's see whether I can power drift into it. Ah, not quite. Oh my god, I've got an actual challenge now. Can I get back into first by the end of the race? Oh, I'm getting there. Oh no! I spoke too soon. Yes! Oh wow, what a finish. That was close. Yay, yay! It sounds like he's going, hear ye! Yay, thank you. I don't know where I'm storing all these balloons, but thank you. Oh no. Oh, there is another one. Okay. Windmill planes. Does this one give you the airplane straight away? Yeah, I remember this one as an aeroplane level. And you can go through the inside of the uh, windmills, and if you go close enough to the floor, you can actually hit the speed boosts in there as well. Let's see whether I can do it. You have to hold R to sort of push yourself further down. And while you're flying the planes as well, you can press R to turn sharper. Which sometimes you need to do. It. It's really difficult to hit the ones on the floor. Oh no, I missed it. I'm not sure of the physics of dropping oil and it floating in the air. Don't question it, I guess. There we go, we got the homing missiles. No, just gotta hold on to them. See if I can get on the floor. Yay! I don't know whether it's actually worth going on the floor because of the amount of time it takes you to get there. But I seem to be doing well anyway. I love the controls in the aeroplane, they feel so good. It just feels perfect. I wish they made a whole plane game just based on the aeroplane. They were trying to on the GBA, but. Obviously, what we got with uh, Banjo Pilot wasn't exactly the original vision. And again, in the aeroplane, you can actually tap the B button to uh, turn sharper, just like you can in the car as well. Yeah, oh, the rainbow dust got in front of the camera then. Yeah, I got both of them. And I almost crashed into a tree, but not quite. And I got that one too, wow. Oh my god, look at the map, look how far ahead I am. I might show off at the end and do one of the tricks. Just because I can. And another one. Whee! I was just boasting then. You remember seeing clips from the DS version? The DS version is mostly the same as this, like all the levels are, are the same. There's a few extra areas, I think, if I remember right, and everything looks a little bit more low res. 
but they're pretty cool. Feels nostalgic even though you've never played it. That's a good sign, I guess. Right, have we maxed out all we can do? I think so. We need 20 to go in there. So, let's... Uh, let's go back to the first area and we can try one of the coin challenges. I just love this adventuring aspect of the game. I wish more gamers did this. Oh, I guess we can do his challenge here and then we've got enough balloons to go back in. So, let's just do that. I don't know where he's going to take me. I'm presuming through here. Yeah. As if I hadn't already proved my worth in the aeroplane from just doing that level then. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god, is he going to catch me up? Ah, he did crash into the wall. Excellent. I was hoping to see him crash into the wall. Remember, don't double tap R, or else you end up doing a trick instead. Like that. I'm just showing off now. Where are you, Taj? You must be right behind me. And you can do the sideways ones too. Try and do a sharp turn. Oh my god, how sharp do you have to do that corner? Oh, I'm going too far away. Let's see if I can... Oh no! Get back here! That's because I was showing off doing that trick earlier. That's karma. Right, let's see whether I can do this. Turn properly this time. Hopefully this is where I can catch up. Okay, ready? Oh no! Oh my god, this is the first time I've actually failed one of these challenges. Oh, look at him. Why is he still going? We're on the final lap. He just didn't want to stop. Yeah, let's do it again. Abracadabra. They changed his voice in the DS version and people were really upset. Oh no, I didn't get a good start. Ah, ah. Is that technically a shortcut? Hmm. I don't know whether that's allowed or not. Apparently it's fine. Right, how do I do this turn in one go? Hold R. And hold B. Okay, that's how you do it. Can I cut this corner as well? Yeah. The game doesn't care if I'm cheating. You know what I, I always thought was a bit weird about this game? It really doesn't feel like it has much to do with Diddy Kong or Donkey Kong at all. Like, it really feels more like its own game than anything. And it just feels like Diddy Kong's just there as a mascot because... Just because. So I don't know how late in development it was when they changed it to be a Diddy Kong game. Because outside of the bananas, obviously, there's not really anything that ties this in with Donkey Kong at all, really. It's always been a bit of a weird outlier, I think. It'd be interesting to hear DK Vine's opinions on that. How do you feel about how Diddy Kong fits into the Donkey Kong universe? Uh, right, where are we going now? Let's go back into the first area and do the coin challenges. I can show you the nightmare that is collecting the silver coins. Let's just start an ancient lake. Yeah, it's more like a just a rare racing game, apart from the fact that most of the characters don't even have their own games. Something pretty cool though, this was actually Banjo's first game, before banjo Kazooie. Hey, I did pretty good picking all them up. 
So the idea, as you can probably tell, is to collect all of the uh, coins in the stage. Wow, I did it all on the first lap. No way. Usually, it's a struggle because you need to collect all the coins and still finish in first, but... Uh, yeah, as you can see, I just picked them all up straight away. It will be a struggle in some of the later levels. And if that dinosaur gets in your way, that's really annoying. I think there's a hidden key as well. Yeah, there it is up there. So I might come straight back into this level after this and uh, pick that key up as well. In typical rare fashion, they have to turn everything into a collector map. It is on the N64 after all. There we go. Hey, first time chat from a raider. Awesome. Uh, Omega Mario. Hello and thank you. This is a classic that takes you back. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm replaying it. And I am really enjoying it as well. It's been a long time since I played this. And it still holds up to my memories just as much as it did back then. Oh, Canto Bound. I'm glad you're enjoying it. That's cool. Uh, oh yeah, let's go back in here and get the uh, get the key so we can see what that does. I can't actually... Oh yeah, you get to choose what, um, what vehicle you want. Let's try a plane, actually. That might be even easier to get the key. Because you don't need to worry about going on the grass, then. And now that you're in the plane, they've actually put some plane-specific things on the stage, like that booster there. So, there's the key. Can't really remember what it does. It opens up something in the hub world. Ah, oh, the music's so good. I'm trying not to hum along. If I was playing this not on stream, I would literally be humming along to the entire game. David Wise is a genius. How does he come up with so many catchy songs? It's insane. I'm going to have this in my head all night now. And then when you go on the final lap, it speeds up too, which is a nice little touch. Ah, take that. Tip top. Usually I play as tip top. The reason I'm playing as Timber is because I was listening to a uh, interview with Kev Bayliss, and he actually said that he wanted Timber to be the main character originally. Yay, we just finished him first too. Yeah, David Wise and Grant Kirkhope are both amazing, amazing people. And there you go, you can see what the key does. Surprisingly, it opens the door with a big keyhole. And I can't really remember what's inside, some sort of time trial challenge or something? Let's go and find out. Is it in here? No. I think that was already there anyway. Was it in here? There it is. Okay, let's see what happens in here. I really can't remember. Is this facing the boss for the second time? The first player to hatch three eggs. Oh, it's the multiplayer stuff. Well, I guess I can't really do that. But I suppose I can do it against the uh, computer. Oh no, they took all the eggs. What do I need to do? Just wait? Oh, do I have to take it out of there? I really don't remember playing these. No. Okay, they're back in the middle now. I don't know if you get anything for doing these in single player, actually. Oh, how do you drop it? Press Z. This is quite awkward. Right, let's see. There's no eggs again. Tip Top's got two. How do I get some off him? Is there a time limit? 
Oh, you can steal the opponent's eggs. Okay. Let's go and take an egg off him then. I don't know why they're not trying to get mine. Oh, I think someone took one away. Let's go and put it back. Why are they cracked? That doesn't seem good. Uh, why am I falling? Let's go and get one off Diddy Kong. He's got one. Oh, I came second. I don't remember if you actually get anything for doing these anyway, so... Let's try again now that I know what I'm doing. And see if you do get anything for coming first. If you do, then I'll attempt the other ones, but if not, uh, I'm not really too bothered. It's a lot more fun now, I know what I'm doing. I saw you put that there, don't mind me. I could go down there and get it. Oh, someone took one of mine! How dare you, Diddy Kong. Conker's doing a bit rubbish. I don't know why they're greyed out sometimes. Does that mean there aren't any to pick up? Well, I managed to get one off Diddy Kong anyway, so let's drop that off. And there's another one in the middle. Cool. I don't know where they're coming from. Is that bird dropping them? Oi, Conker! I saw that. I don't understand why they're cracked sometimes. You can't pick them up. Oh, I think he just put a new one in. I can't turn around. Okay, forget it. I'm going to Conker's run. Why can't I pick them up? There's two in there, but I'm not allowed to touch them. How do you know which ones you can touch? Okay, I don't understand this one. Hopefully you don't need to finish them. Also, I'll come back to them at the end. I think they're just little multiplayer fun bonus things. Let's try getting the coins in this level. <clears throat> right, that is something for lap two. I'm not going straight over there. Put some of them in awkward locations. It's better to try and get as many as you can on the first lap, and then you can uh, spend the next ones just trying to get ahead again. Oh, is there only one left? Cool. I don't remember where it was though. Down here? Yeah, there it is. Okay, now we're just going to try and get back into first. I don't know whether you need to finish him first, or whether that's just something to aim for. Well, we'll see, because I finished second. Do I still 
get that. Let's see. Oh, okay, you do need to finish him first, right. Yeah, it probably is used in the background on YouTube videos, because I know a load of people are really nostalgic for it. And it just has an awesome soundtrack. Uh, I missed that one. I'll try not getting them all on one lap this time, because I think it did put me at a bit of a disadvantage. Oh no, I forgot that one. Oh no, I'm stuck on the wall. I'm actually stuck. I'm going to have to restart, damn it. Think of that as a practice one. Oh no. Restart. I'm not going in the water. That's pretty much game over if you go in the lake. Oh, that's better. We can actually just drift and get all them. Oh yeah. Wow, I'm doing so much better this time. Oh my god, I got all of them. Yes, that's how you do it. I made that look easy. I love the nuance to the controls, like there is a lot of um, hidden depth to them, the way the cart moves, and the physics actually feel really good and really responsive, especially for the time. The only thing I wish was a little better, the frame rate is quite low, but it never bothered me back then and it doesn't really bother me now really. It only bothers me because I know better, but you know, at the time as a kid you really don't care about it things like frame rate or anything. I do wonder if kids these days care more about frame rate because they see people complaining about it online. Whereas back then that was never really an issue for anyone because no one really knew better or worse. Everyone just accepted what games were. So I'm quite curious to see what kids think about frame rates on things like the Switch. Do, do kids really like notice. I certainly didn't growing up. Like there's a lot of people now that complain about the N64 having bad frame rate or bad graphics but I never noticed at all back in the day. I thought the graphics looked a lot nicer than the PlayStation to be honest. But obviously these days I understand the uh, I understand the uh, difference in like the um, the storage space on the CDs versus cartridges, which I can tell must have been an issue for developers at the time. Oh no, I missed it. I always just treat the first attempt at this as like scoping out, see where the coins are. Oh, I thought that was one. That's a balloon. There's one on the right there. Okay. I think there's one on the other side of this as well, yeah. And there might be one in this tunnel. Oh, surprisingly not. Okay, let's aim for that one. Yeah, that's better. And then there's one on the right here, and I'm still missing one more. Oh, it's in there. Nice. Last one. 
It is there. Yes, got it. Now we just have to get to the finish. That was quite close. I almost missed that. I love these coin challenges. They really add an extra layer to the game and a lot of replay value too. I've seen some people complaining that they're too difficult, but I think it's just the right amount of challenge, really. Uh, your brother's into competitive games and he's always complaining about resolutions and frame rates. Wow. I guess it was just us then, not caring so much. But I guess back then, if you were really into competitive stuff, then maybe kids in the 90s and early 2000s might have cared more. Right, where do we go now? Fossil Canyon. I thought I'd already done this one. Oh no, it was the other level, wasn't it? Like Plastic or something. Can't remember. Get ready! I'm scared to drift down in case I missed it. Don't tell me there's one in that lake. Oh my god, there is. No. So there's one on that speed booster, there's one in the lake, which is really annoying. And there's one on the left there as well. And I thought I remembered that you had to slow down there as well for some reason, but maybe not. There's still one more that I don't know about though. Let's try and keep an eye out. Hey, I did that. Okay. Ish. I mean, I'm still in first. Somehow. Oh, that is all of them. Cool. And the last one is down here on the left. Yay! Go for it! Now we just have to keep our lead, which shouldn't be too difficult. I want to see how badly some of these AI are driving to be so far behind. Hey, that's actually a pretty good shortcut. I've always, I was always scared to go through there. But maybe I didn't mean to go. Just throw that straight away. I don't need it. Whee, easy. <laughs> yeah, well that's more than we can say for kids these days. They have to download updates and patches. All sorts of things that we didn't have to worry about. Especially on the N64, without even needing to worry about loading times or anything. Okay, now we get to face the boss for the second time. And I really hate this boss. Let's see whether I can do it easier this time, even though it's more challenging. Let's go! Fantastic. Are we ready to get the Triceratops' special prize? At least I think he's a Triceratops. Okay. Oh, off to a good start. Ah, off to a bad start. Let's retry. Oh my god. Can't believe I messed up so badly straight away. Okay, get ready. I'm going to try and get both of these, because I have a feeling I'll need them. Hey, that was pretty good. Even though that first one basically did nothing, because I got flattened. Whoa, I don't remember that! I must have been far enough ahead for that to not be an issue last time. No, that was a bad aim. I don't remember getting squashed by these. Am I just too far back? I am now. I don't think there's any chance in catching up, but at least I can practice this awkward corner. Hey, that's cool. I uh, didn't know you could do that. 
I don't think that's intended. Maybe I do have a chance of catching back up. Very slightly. Just do some really close drift into the wall. I bet he's already finished. <gasps> he's there! Oh my god, oh my god, no! Oh my god, why am I going backwards? Uh, uh, this game definitely holds its own against Mario Kart. Especially with the single player content. It's like night and day, the amount of stuff to do in this game compared to Mario Kart. I don't really think of them as competing though, because Mario Kart's obviously more streamlined and it's more multiplayer focused, whereas this is more like going on an actual adventure with rare characters, which is just so much fun. Yes, I managed to get ahead of it this time. And ahead of him? Maybe. For a second. Ah, oh, how did that not hit him? No. I hate the collision detection on these bosses. It's really uh, precise. Hey, that's the uh, the tree that I bashed into last time. Oh my god. I'm scared to get too close to him. It's so unfair the way he crushes you like that. Now I just have to keep practicing my drifting. Ah oh, no! I think I've lost my chance now. But... No, I've definitely lost my chance. Restart. That's so unfair. I might come back to this after having a bit of a break because these bosses can get really, uh, really frustrating if you just keep trying them. Uh, okay, one more try, one more try, one more try. Try and get both of these this time. I think the thing might have fallen down on top of him then. Maybe? Where is he? I'm scared. No, and I missed that rocket. I don't know when to start going into the drift either. Do I do it the entire time? Oh, maybe I should have got that speed boost instead then. Although I think as long as I stay ahead, then I'll be safe. Uh, okay, I guess I'm taking a speed boost. No, just don't hit any palm trees. Oh my god, I'm scared. <gasps> I did it! Yes, that was actually the perfect run. My hands are sweaty. Uh, <laughs> the concentration then. That was intense. Yay, we did it. Okay, let's try the trophy challenge. I think that's just like a uh, Grand Prix mode kind of thing. Congratulations, you've won a piece of the magical amulet. There's three more pieces to collect. Good luck. You can tell this is a proper rare game. 
with the insane amount of things to try and find. So is that what opens here now? Yeah, trophy race. Okay, and then we can actually get the trophy for this area. And I think this is just like a Grand Prix mode. They definitely did everything they could to milk these few levels. The amount of times you have to replay them. Oh yeah, if someone's watching, can you just Google what the bananas actually do? And let me know, because I haven't noticed them actually do anything. I'm guessing they're sort of a speed up thing, like in Mario Kart. But I'm not entirely sure. I must have known at some point, but... Uh, yeah, I have no clue. I don't know how many you can hold either, is it ten? Oh, I thought something was coming from then. I'm too good at this level. Where is everyone? Oh, I almost got crushed by a dinosaur. Finish! Now, I'm presuming this trophy race just takes you uh, straight onto the next level, straight after this one. Don't know why that background makes me think of Micro Machines. Yeah, you go straight onto the second course. Get ready! Shall I take the shortcut? Let's do it. I think it's faster. Slightly. Even though you get stuck on the grass. There isn't much to say now. I've done this level three times now. Just enjoy the music. I think this game controls a lot better than Mario Kart 64 as well. It feels a lot like you've got a lot more control. Mario Kart feels very slippery. And I've seen some people say this does too, but I think thanks to the way the uh, drifting works and the the brake and accelerate thing, you do actually have a lot more control. I say as I miss a speed boost. You should get an N64. There's so many great games for it. Don't listen to the internet who says it's not a great console. It really is. You saw my top N64 games video. There's so many great games for it. Especially Rare. Like this and Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. Conker's Bad Fur Day. Jet Force Gemini. They could do no wrong, honestly, in this generation. The only game of theirs for the N64 that I don't really know that much about, or haven't really played much is Blast Court or Blast Core. Because for some reason you can't erase the save on the cartridge. So every time I've tried to play that game, it's it's already hundred percent completed and there's nothing for me to do. So I don't really know what you can do to wipe the part. And I got it that way as well, so I've never actually played the game. Rare Replay doesn't have Diddy Kong Racing though. Which is, in my opinion, their best game. Or at least I thought that as a kid. That and Diddy Kong Racing. Definitely Rare's top two.
And Donkey Kong 64 as well, yeah. And Mickey Speedway, I don't think that's on it. Is it? Is Jet Force Gemini on there? I can't remember actually. I think it might be. Uh, what else did they do? Conker's Bad Fur Day. I guess the Xbox version's on it. Is the original N64 version on Rare Replay or not? I don't actually know. I kind of want to replay um, Banjo Nuts and Bolts after, you know, how everyone's been comparing it to Zelda. And I really enjoyed Nuts and Bolts back in the day. I thought that was a fantastic game. And obviously way ahead of its time. I'll try and save up to get the uh, third blue balloon on this attempt. Oh, it's over there. There we go. Whee! Super turbo. I wish it lasted longer though. Where's that dinosaur going? Whoa! Nearly hit his head then. So we take the long way round? I never go this way. What's over here? Just some red balloons. I don't want them. Oh, yeah, re Replay is fantastic. It's such a shame it's not out on PC, though. I feel like they should have. I mean, you can make your own Rare Replay, I suppose, by just getting the ROMs and putting them in a folder. You get stronger power-ups if you drive with max bananas. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Cool, I'll try and connect, collect all the bananas this time. No, 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 wrong way! I haven't heard that yet. I'm sure I heard it a lot as a kid. Alright, I think we've done everything in this area. Look at our trophy! Woo! I don't want to do it again. I just wanted to see it. That's everything in the first area. And as you can see, the boss door is now turned into a picture of Taj's face. For some reason. So let's go out here now and into the next area. Oh yeah, it was an airplane. So I guess the next area technically was the uh, snow area. Oh, actually, we've got a few more levels we can do. If we go inside uh, one of these. Is it inside this one? No. Is it inside that one? I can't remember where it is. I don't think it's inside that one. It must be inside that one. In one of these, you can get to the other set of levels. There it is. There was a few in here that we haven't finished yet because I didn't have enough balloons for them. So let's go and do this one, Boulder Canyon. Oh, this is a fun level. I really enjoyed this one. I quite like the hovercraft levels in general. Go. Let's see if I can get maximum bananas. Not if Diddy Kong steals them all. Although, it's his game, so I'll let him off. Oh yeah, if you ring that bell, then... Ah, uh, why am I missing everything? I'm still not used to the controls for the hovercraft. And there's two different paths to take down here as well, if I remember right. I'm guessing when it comes to collecting the coins, there'll be one on each side. Mm. I love the physics. They nailed the physics. They really did. With this and Wave Race, the N64 has some really good water physics, surprisingly. Considering it was a lot of developers' first attempts in 3D. 
pretty much knocked it out of the park from their first try. I think I missed the bell again, never mind. We'll be revisiting these levels anyway. Okay, let's take the left hand path. I think this way's a little bit slower. Again, I haven't seen any NPCs since I started the race. Let's see what you need to do to bring the bell on. Yeah, you have to jump into it. Never mind. Well, it'll send the rest of them the other path anyway. I'll stay on the right, because I think the right is slightly faster. Hey, I couldn't even see that. So much for getting maximum bananas. Yay, finish. I don't really enjoy Crash Team Racing as much as Mario Kart or Diddy Kong. I have played and finished all three of them, but I would rate Diddy Kong as number one, then Mario Kart, then Crash. Although Crash has a really interesting... Uh, it has a really interesting drifting mechanic where you have to press the button at the right time to build up the power. Which I think is pretty cool. Right. Final level in here. Haunted Woods. This is a fun one. Haunted Woods. Yeah, it's pretty cool that they actually tried the whole multiple vehicles thing. Especially considering this was Rare's first 3D racing game. They did an incredible job with it. And I'm amazed at how well it holds up today as well. Outside of the frame rate issues, like, the controls just feel perfect. It's really fun. Maybe it's slightly on the easy side. But, yeah, I can't really fault it in terms of gameplay or anything. Or structure or anything like that. I'm actually really impressed going back and playing it again. But how well it holds up, honestly. Oh my god, is this the first race where I'm not going to come in first? We can't let that happen. Oh no. No! <gasps> Third place! That's a new low! I'm going to do that again. We can't let that be. Haunted Woods. Haunted Woods. I love that this is Banjo's first game as well. What a weird introduction to the character. I don't even know if they had plans for Banjo-Kazooie at that point. Was the game still a dream? In 96, I guess, is when this would have been. Oh, really? I just wasted that. And what happened there? Someone squashed me. I keep forgetting that there's a... Ah! Crashed into the wall as well. I'm still waiting for Timber to get his own game. I know that Kev Bayless wanted him to have his own game. He said he just wanted Timber to be the main character because he likes lions. Or tigers. Yeah, tigers. Hey, I'm in first. This one is going to be tough to uh, get all the silver coins on. It's a very twisty track. Yay, there we go, first place. That was a fun one. How many balloons is that now? 24, 25? 
Oh no. Okay, let's see what the boss is for this one. I can't remember what the boss is for this level, for this world actually. Twenty six. Cool, we're making good progress. And I'm only about two hours in. Oh, it's the dragon. Cool. This one's a fire one. As you can tell. I challenge you to a race. Here we go, dragon boss. It's not fair, they always get a head start. Okay, that's what you have to worry about with this one, is the fire. The bosses always make you think that they're faster than they are, but they always slow down towards the end. So you do have a little bit of chance to uh, try and catch back up. So don't be put off if you uh, see them getting away in the beginning. I'm going to try and stick to just getting the blue balloons for this one. There's one down there. I'll try and get three if I can. That one's too far away. I don't know why you would try and aim for that one. I suppose I could have got that one. Oh, I'm doing quite well. Hey, he's actually quite far behind. Did he crash into a tree or something? Three. I guess I can use it now. Whoa! Maybe that was a bit wasted on the corner. I don't really think there is a straight on this course, really. Maybe I could have used it here. Wow, that was almost perfect. First time. Yeah, Banjo was going to be a character in a game called Dream for the SNES. But it was never actually going to be his own game. It was going to be the uh, Captain Black Eye from Banjo Tooie. It was supposed to be his game. And a kid called Ken or Ben or Milo or something. I can't quite remember. But those two were the main characters, and Banjo was just a random bear in the game. Uh, where do we go now? I don't have enough balloons. Oh, I have enough balloons for some of these, but... Let's go and do some of the easier levels and try and get the silver coins on them ones. Let's ask... Ask Targe for a hovercraft. Oh no, we can take the aeroplane into the um, ice levels, actually. Into the winter levels. Oh yeah, if you're interested in the dream prototype on the SNES, have a look at Tim Stamper on Twitter. He's been sharing very, very slight, very small screenshots and videos from the game actually running on the SNES and the N64. Which is just amazing to see, but people are really angry at him because he's not actually sharing anything. And I really wish that he would dump the ROMs as well, but you know, there's probably a lot of legal issues around that, so I don't blame him. It's just cool that they exist somewhere. And I just hope that he's got his own backups, just in case. Because, uh, yeah, they're very important parts of the history of video games. Which is obviously something that I, I care deeply about, so I want to make sure those sort of things are preserved. Uh, To do some really tight cornering to get these coins. Really? There's one hidden all the way over there. I'm trying to see if I can remember where all the ones I missed are. There's one on the far right somewhere in the ice section. There's a one around here. There's one! Uh, okay, right, third lap. 
I'll remember to stay on the left there. Oh, uh, okay. I'm going to try and get it. Is there one up there? Maybe? I've still got a chance. Okay, and that one there. And I'm guessing there's one down here on the right, because I didn't see... Oh, really? Behind the tree? Okay, okay. I can do this. They're all in really awkward places, though. Oh, I hate this jelly floor. Why did they make the uh, water in the ice levels out of jelly? It's a very strange decision. Right, so stay on the left for the first bit after this bridge. I'm not even going to take the uh, speed boost on. Oh, I went too slow there. Okay. Well, I got it. Two more. One is over there on the right. That's in such an awkward place. And the last one's over there. Oh my god. And I'm gonna... I'm not even gonna complete that race. Let's go back and do it again. Oh! Yeah, maybe originally Timber was going to be um, instead of Sabre. Maybe. Or maybe Sabre became Timber before he became Star Fox. I really need to have a look into Rare's history. That'd be a really cool video for me to work on. Right. Sharp. Left. Not that sharp. Okay. Retry. I'm going to try and get that coin straight away because that one's really annoying. This level feels like it could have come out of uh, Sonic R if Sonic R was a good game. Which it kind of is, but obviously, yeah. It really can't compete with this. Ah, uh, okay. Next lap. I still can't figure out how those missiles fire properly. Alright, stay by that tree. Gonna try and get the awkward ones first. This is probably the hardest level yet in terms of getting coins. I'm determined to get them all though. I've never actually got the um, true ending. Yay! So I want to try this time to 100% it. It's been a goal of mine for a long time. One more to find. Where's the final one? I actually have no clue where this last one is. Come on! Yes! We did it! That was a good finish. Dinosaur Planet was originally to feature Timber. Oh, that's fantastic. Cool. I wonder if there's um, any version of Dinosaur Planet out there where you actually play as Timber. Hey, Gone Mad Trains here. Hello. Yeah, we did it. One more level down. That was 
27 things now. Okay, next. Let's go to this one, Everfrost Peak. Everfrost Peak. These silver coin challenges aren't quite as bad as I remembered them being. I remember them being impossible as a kid. This one might be more challenging because it's uh, a flying stage. Okay. I always try and use the first lap to just try and figure out where I need to go in the following laps. Although, they all seem pretty obvious on this one. I guess there isn't really anywhere to uh, hide them, as this level's all out in the open. There's only two I didn't get. Cool. That should be easy then. Uh, if you go low enough onto the ground there, you can, uh, you can use the speed boosters which are meant for the cars. I love this music as well. This is one of my favourite tracks. So, is there one on the right? No? Ah, there's one under the bridge. Okay, cool. That's one. Where's the second one? I'm missing two, but I only saw one. <gasps> is that? No, it's there somewhere. There it is. Okay. That was probably the worst way of going about getting it, but I got it. Let's see if I can claw my way back into first. A well-timed missile will help. And the final one is under the bridge. Yeah, there. Yay, got them all. And the speed booster. Let's just use that. There's the finish. Yeah, we did it. First time. Excellent. This is the next game on your hit list. Go for it. Join me as I'm playing through it. I can't remember whether you're on my Discord or not, but I just set up a new um, channel on Discord so that people can actually play through these retro games that I decide to stream. So if you are interested in doing that and joining the community and playing through it as a group, that would be really fun. Right, Snowball Valley. One of my favourite levels. Although this one with the uh, coin challenge is really difficult because there's a lot of really twisty turns and separate paths. So this one's impossible to get them all on one. As far as I remember anyway. Although I'm doing okay. It might be difficult to get him in that middle bit there. And there's one right on the edge there as well. And I think there's one on the left inside this tunnel. There we go. Is there one in there or two? Okay, just one. And I'm guessing there's a coin on that side as well. Yep, and I missed it, of course. And if I remember right, there was one on the left up here. I didn't even see that last one. Uh, you're impressed? No, I came in second. You can't be impressed. <clears throat> Let's try again. It'll be interesting to see how someone who hasn't played this before fares with it, because it is a very challenging game. Especially trying to get all the, uh, all the coins. I couldn't even find the last one. Doing better this time.
Ah, uh, turn too soon then. Uh. There's one here that's kind of difficult to get to. Do a full spin round to get to it. Where's the last one? There's still one more. Oh, it's there. Okay. I'll get that on the next lap. We've got one more. I don't know what I missed the first time then. Oh no, I'm doing badly. No point. Restart. Yeah, the boss races are kind of annoying. I've done them all for the first time, but I haven't done all of the second set yet. Once you collect all the coins and all the stages, you have to fight the bosses again. And they're a lot more challenging, of course. Oh, that's where the last one was. It was inside those item boxes. That's why I couldn't see it. They really made the AI a lot, um, a lot more competent on the second set of races as well. Bye. Ah, okay, I'll get it next time. I know where it is. I don't know which way is faster, actually. Is it faster? to go through that tunnel. I think it might be slightly faster. Yes, got it. Now we just have to get ahead of Diddy. Yes, that worked. Hit him with a missile right at the end. That was a good race. Yeah, one more down. Yeah! Oh, two. Do you remember Diddy Kong Racing? I'm doing quite well, I've got 29 balloons now. Can they see Skittles? There he is! <laughs> no, I haven't got the key yet. I've got the key in the first one. Do you remember what level the key's in? <laughs> of course. I've already done the volcano levels. Which uh, which level's the key in? Well, Frosty Village. Well, I haven't done the challenge on this one, so... Have a look for a second, see if you remember if it's the one with the key. Is it this one? Is it behind the houses or something? There's a tunnel in the one I was just in. There was a silver coin in there, but there wasn't a there wasn't a key. I'll find it anyway, somewhere. Do you remember those challenges, getting the coins? Yeah, they also made the AI a lot stronger in the coin challenges. And they're hidden in really awkward spots. Oh yeah, I did one of them. I've done the, uh, the dinosaur one. The Triceratops one. Okay.
Ah, uh, there's one right there in the corner as well. Weird, there isn't anything to get in this section. There's another one I missed. And there, oh my god. I need to do this level again, I think. Over there. Maybe I can do it if I'm really careful. Ah, okay. Restart. Man, I love this song so much. Hey, yeah, you won't get to listen to it again, though. This whole soundtrack is just incredible. It's so catchy. I don't know how David Wise manages to come up with so many songs that are all like 10 out of 10. How does he do it? Oh, I just love it so much. Yeah, I'm doing a lot better this time too. Oh, come back to that one. Yeah, there's only two left this time. Did I get them both from here? There might be one on the right, maybe. I swear there's got to be more in this uh, foggy section here. I don't know where this last one is. Ah, it's there. Okay, go for it. I'm in fourth. Can I get all the way back to first? Probably not, but I'll try my best. Out of the way! Come on, someone hit. I'm presuming Diddy Kong. Ah, uh, close! So close! So close. David Wise doesn't miss. You're absolutely right there. Possibly my favourite composer of all time. Yeah, I love the power-up system as well. The fact that you get to kind of choose whether to power one thing up or whether to uh, save it for something else. And the fact that you always know what you're getting straight away as well is quite unique. Ah! Oh, how did I miss that? Oh, it's okay, it's only the first lap. Ah, and I missed the speed boost as well. You pretty much need to hit all the speed boost because the uh, AI on these revisits is pretty crazy compared to how it was the first time. And the fact that you have to do all this while trying to get all these coins. Insane. In a good way. Oh yeah, I missed it there. Over 
Where's the last one? I really hope it wasn't in that corner. I think it might have been. I missed it, but I think he went into my uh, trap there. But I think I've also missed the final coin. Ah, that's annoying. I would have done it then. Let's come back to that. Let's try one of the other levels. Uh, have I already done all the other ones? I've already done all the other ones. I haven't got the key. So I go in another one and you can tell me if it's got a key in it. Okay. It might be this one you're thinking of. But I don't remember the key being in there. Yeah, I've got my fan on but it's not really open that much. You think the key is in that ice tunnel at the start? You'll see, it, you'll see it on the left here, down there. Yeah, I'll show you. No, they're really not. They're really hidden away. So, up here. Turn left here and go through this tunnel. But I don't think there's a key in there. I'll just take you right here, look. I don't think there's anything else to do there before you go in that igloo. Is there somewhere else on the left here? Yeah, there it is. It's not in the tunnel, it's just on its own. Yay, well done. Good memory. Do you need to still finish in first? You just need to finish the race. Is that the one time that the game's not just horrible to you? But you have to get all the coins, but you also have to finish in first every single time. Everyone's been saying how good the soundtrack is. Do you know who made it? Come on, you should know. No, not him. It's not Grant Kirkhope. David Wise. You know David Wise, right? Yeah, 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 of course. David the Wise. Do I get the key? Let's see whether it gives me a cutscene. Yay! You do get it. Yeah, the last one was dropping the eggs off. You don't get anything for doing them in single player, do you? Do you? For coming in first? No. Shall I try it? I think they're just multiplayer things. I mean, you can... Oh, that's not the right way. You can do them in single player, but I don't think you get anything for it. Let's try. Yeah, I've got all the balloons in the field. If that's what you're asking. Oh yeah, this one's just the battle arena thing. Well, let's try it. Get the homing missile. Ah! Yeah, this was before he was uh, 18 plus. Before he got drunk. Before he discovered alcohol. I remember driving around here a lot. Ah. Oh, around the outside. Out here. There's someone. Oh no, they got me back! <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for it to come back. It's better to have the homing missile than the other one, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, you do get 10. 
Did I hit anyone? No, no, don't think so. Ah! That time I did. Oh! Yeah. I'm not doing very well. I've only got four. Four tip tops in last. Ah. I thought that was coming for me then. Eight's quite a lot, isn't it? Oh, it doesn't go any higher than... Yeah, that might be a bit too much. How come no one's getting Diddy Kong? Oh, come on. I think he's on the next... He's on the next floor, eh? Should I be more aggressive? Ah! Uh, I didn't do anything. There's a shield. I should just stay here. That's safer. Where? Where are we going? Ah! Oh no! Oh my god, that's why I don't play these mini games. Alright, let's try again. No, don't say that. I hope people can't hear you because I've got the uh, got the noise cancelling thing there. What? No one can hear that, right? I've got it on my laptop. That was just so I can see if the stream is working okay, really. I haven't got anything to attack him with. Well, I guess oil slits could be... Somehow he's lost two already. I don't know, he's not been doing very well anyway. <laughs> they said they can't hear you. Sarah was making fun of me, basically. There's someone. Yeah, go and have fun. Or draw. It's a bit warm. Okay. Have fun. Oh no, I hit the wall. Stay away from Diddy. Whoa, I went into my own... I don't understand how Conker's still got so many balloons. I don't even know if I get anything for doing this. I just want to come first in one of these mini games. Just to find out whether anything does actually happen. I don't even know if anyone is even coming down here. Punk has suddenly lost all his bananas for some reason. Maybe I should just stay down here, it seems pretty safe. Oh my god, Diddy Kong's out! At least I'm not going to finish in dead last. I suppose I could be using the map to find out where the uh, opponents are. 
It doesn't tell me what floor they're on, though. Yay, conk has gone. It's just me and Tip Top now. He was usually in last place, so well done, Tip Top. There he is. And another one! Yay, first place! Now let's see if anything actually happens. I'm just going to check something. Okay, it's still recording, good. I'm also recording the game at the same time. So I can do a video on my thoughts. Oh, you do get something. You get a TT amulet. Well, Conker did have a bad fur day because I killed him. So you do need to do all of the multiplayer games as well. Right. Okay, let's try this again. This is the last one I need to try and get all the coins on. Is everyone enjoying watching me play this, by the way? It's quite, quite refreshing for me to just play a game that I actually want to play myself, rather than something for a promotional thing for someone else, basically. Which is what a lot of my streams were turning into, so I've uh, decided that I'm going to turn them down and just focus on what I'm enjoying. Which I think is much healthier. Ah, where am I going? Oh my god. I can't remember why I was struggling on this. Did I... Uh... I wasn't able to find one of them, I think. Uh, I think I know where it was. There's one over here as well, isn't there? So I think there's one for each position that you can start in. No, I swapped my good power up for a bad one. Yay, we got all of them. Now I just have to try and get to the end. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Maybe if I'm really lucky. I think there's a shortcut up there, actually. Maybe. Come on! Yes! Right at the end! Yeah, we did it. Oh yeah, I forgot Trackmania came out on consoles. How does it play on console? I haven't tried it yet. Is it a good port? I need to go back and play the PC version some more. I'm just playing it on the N64, using using nothing but a composite cable into a HDMI upscaler. And then I'm playing it on the CRT in front of me. And it's recording onto the PC behind me back there, if you can see it. So it's a pretty weird stream. Oh no, we have to face this walrus again. I'm surprised the stream looks really good because it's literally using the cheapest possible capture options available. Oh my god, I can't see anything! There's an insane walrus. 
It's nice enough for me. Oh no, I didn't get it. Oh, that's really slowed me down. Uh, it's so difficult to line things up properly with the hoverboard. Or hovercraft, should we say. The plane and the car I can control fine, but the hovercraft always gives me issues. Ah, oh, really? That missed? I thought I'd gotten them. There's not many items to catch in this level, is there? Trackmania is actually one of the only games that I actually prefer playing on a keyboard. For some reason, maybe because that's how I grew up playing the originals, but it just feels natural to use the arrow keys. Alright, let's try again. Oh my god, that's an intense start to the race. Now we've got to try and get as many items as we can without crashing. There's a red one somewhere. Right. And if we get another red one... Maybe it was better not to get it actually, because it's kind of slowed me down a little bit. Aha! That works! Now, line up for the tunnel! It's really scary there, because you can easily mess the entire race up. Oh my god, I'm actually doing quite well. Ha! Ah, yes! Come on! Second time! No way! Ah! That was scary! He was literally like a few pixels away from me at the end. Yay, we did it! Well done. You've won a piece of the amulet. Now try the trophy challenge. Goodbye, kid. Yeah, it's like it's just looking straight up his butt the whole time. Yay, I'm glad we did it though. I suppose if I'm doing everything, I should go back to the first area and do that aeroplane thing with the eggs again. <clears throat> yeah, let's uh, let's go and do that so I'm back on top of everything. Uh, it's up here, isn't it? Yeah. So what does everyone think of the game so far? If it's not a game you've played before, what do you think based on... Uh... What do I need to do here? Oh yeah, the... Uh... The mini game. There it is. Why does this remind me of something like L is real? There must be some sort of secret about this random rock formation. I don't know why I was pushing the door open like that then. The first player to hatch three eggs will win. Ah, uh, so I guess if the egg's hatched, that explains why you can't pick it up. Yeah. Oh my god. I forgot how to fly. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, we got one. Let's take it home. I'm the only person who's actually got an egg.
I'm getting used to flying a bit better as well now. Hey, just got another raid. Awesome. Hello, everyone. We're playing one of my childhood favourite games, Diddy Kong Racing. And someone just stole Diddy's egg. And someone just stole Tip Top's egg. And Conker just put one down, so I'll just grab it off him quick. Hopefully they're going to ignore mine and it can hatch. Oh, mine's already hatched. Awesome. So there's a second one. Sometimes they reappear in the middle, but not that often, so I'm going to try and get one off Conker if that's a fresh one. Yes, just before them two got it too. So now we just need that one to hatch, and then I've won, basically. Then I get the second part of the TT amulet, which I think unlocks TT as a playable character. Which is pretty good, because if I remember right... Yeah, we did it! If I remember right, he's one of the fastest... Uh, he's one of the fastest characters. Oh, Tronimal! Hello! Thanks for the raid. I appreciate that. How are you doing? Have you been making Game Boy music? Hey, Skiddles is there too. Awesome. Uh, how old was I when I got this? So, I got this in 1997, I guess, just after it came out, so I would have been five or six. So, not very old at all, really. The perfect age for this kind of game, I guess. And it's just, like, muscle memory to me at this point. I played it so much. Right, that is everything in this area complete. So now we can go and do the Grand Prix mode in the ice world, or in the snow world. So go back over here, and then we can do the Grand Prix, or the uh, Trophy Challenge, it's called, because I beat the boss for the second time. And you can do this in the plane as well. Do a little trick. For no good reason, but I just like to do it. Hey, Kim Kong as well. Hello. More pixels. Only the best pixels here. Let's see where we're up to. Oh. Hey, I asked to see my status. How dare you ignore me. Get back here. There we go, we're halfway done with the bosses and with the time trial things. Two keys and one Whizpig trophy, so we're nearly halfway through the game. So what I need to do now is go to this room where the trophy is, or where the trophy will be, and then we have to do this trophy race, which is the Grand Prix mode. And enjoy the music. So I love the music on this level. I've said that a lot tonight, but man, the soundtrack in this game is so so good. So catchy. And if you go low enough, you can get the speed boosts on the ground as well. And crash into the tree. Because why not? Ah, uh, I missed that one. If you let go of the accelerator before you go into a speed boost, you get slightly faster out the back of it, which is pretty good. Yay, I hit him. I never think I'm going to hit anyone with the single missiles. Let's see if I can hit them too. I definitely will with this one, because this is the homing missile. Right at the finish line, too. Okay, final lap. Let's try and build up some blue balloons. If we can. No! Okay. Let's just use it. I'm not getting stuck in the tree. Okay, maybe I'm going to have to try and hit him. Out the sky. Okay. 
Yes, I'm in front. Okay, no, that's just a backup, just in case. Oh no! No, someone hit me as well! No! Ah, oh, and he bounced across the line. God damn it. Oh, cool. Playing games from the game jam. Nice. I haven't checked any of them out yet. I need to get around to that. There's another jam coming up in September, which I'm going to be a judge on, so that'll be interesting too. Well, let's go. What were the games like? What were some of the highlights? Couldn't chat because I had to do this verification thing. That's weird. Is that some security thing that I've got on there? Sorry. Hello though, how are you today? Did you enjoy playing through the Game Jam games? I think I changed the security because I was getting some spam people, so... I'll see what I can do to reduce that if that's getting annoying. Oh no, I missed the speed boost. Wow, everyone's all grouped up there. Yay, straight into first. Some good stuff this year, that's good. I need to check it out soon. What was the theme? If there was one. Were they mostly GB Studio or was there a range of different uh, game engines? Ah! I hate the floor in this section. If you mess up once, you're just stuck bouncing around. I never get that speed boost on the right there. It may as well not exist. Oh no, I missed the speed boost there as well. I knew Diddy Kong would get it. He's been my rival this whole game. Okay, I'm going to attempt to take the uh, inside line again. Oh, okay. No, apparently not. The game doesn't want me to go that way. All right. Um, that is where this run goes to die. I'm going to start this trophy thing from the beginning again. Only played 40 to 50. Oh my god, how many? How many was there? You've got your work cut out for you if you're going to play through all of them. That's crazy. 85? Wow. It's getting really popular. See if I can get in first this time. I finished this one in second before. I'm glad they made the AI more difficult on these uh, challenge things because it was way too easy on the first one. It actually feels like I need to concentrate a bit though. Yeah, I think I've bitten off more than I can chew with the GB Compo one. I'm a judge this year and they're expecting like hundreds of entries. So, uh, yeah, I might have my work cut out for me in September. But I've already agreed to do it, so I'm not going to back out. But, yeah, it sounds like a lot. Yeah, you're doing it as well this year. Awesome. I'll see you there then. See whether we agree on the game selection 
on our choices. Two ply, hello. First time chat. How are you this evening? Yes, I got the speed boost on the floor. Yay! First easy that time. Best N64 game. Possibly. Top 5 at least. Doesn't quite hold up to Banjo-Kazooie, in my opinion. That's my number one. Well, Absolutely, Diddy Kong Racing deserves to be right up there. With some of the best. I think I missed a follow earlier. Uh, Game Boy La ah! Game Boy Land DE, thank you. And I just adjusted my uh, stream window there and I missed the start of the race. So I've already got some catching up to do. Oh no. But thanks for the follow, really appreciate it. Oh my god, is this the first time I'm actually going to hit both of them? Wow. Wow, I missed that one there. Right, I am very scared of this section. Especially now I'm in an actual proper race. So I think I might just stick to going on the, uh, on the right, take the safe route, even though it's a bit slower. What are some N64 games that use pixel art? Um, Mischief Makers has brilliant 2D graphics. Just think, what else? Uh, Pokemon Puzzle League, I guess that counts. Uh, Poyo Poyo on the Japanese N64. Dr. Mario. Um, I don't think there's many more. If anyone else can think of some, let us know down below. Uh, Wonder Project J is a really nice looking 2D N64 game. Why am I hanging out in fourth place? What have I done to deserve this? Crashed into the wall, apparently. Trying to take a shortcut. It kind of worked. Let's take this inside line. Uh, I think I'm too far back. Well, I finished second. That's okay. Oh yeah, Mischief Makers is amazing. That's a top five game for me as well. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. There was a few Tetris games. Tetris 64 and... The new Tetris, I think it's called. I don't think there's many more. Oh, Xeno Crisis, if you want a new game. That's a really nice 2D pixel art game. Have a look at Xeno Crisis for the N64. The graphics in that are insane. They look amazing. So there were a few. But yeah, Mischief Makers is definitely uh, the highlight. Out of them. I'm planning to do a full stream and video on Mischief Makers in the future. I love that game so much. I don't know how I didn't get squashed then. I think I just got lucky. Double turbo! Maybe I could have saved up for a triple turbo. Ah, my own oil! No! 
Oh my god, it sent me all the way back to 8th? That is so harsh. I wasn't even that far back. That's insane. I went from 2nd to 8th just because I went into my own oil spill. Wow. And I ended in 5th. That was so bad. Uh, what else? Oh, Mickey's Tetris Challenge as well. That's another 2D game. Not super exciting, but it's a 2D one. Mm, I don't even think I'm going to come second in this, let alone first. But let's try. Let's at least get through all the races. Else I'll just keep restarting it over and over. Wow, the uh, frame rate really tanks on this intro bit. Oh, I really thought I could get in with that missile one. Aha! Going with the oil spill instead. Uh, okay. You deserved it. I deserved that. I'll just try and get a uh, speed boost. Oh, I missed it again! I was going to say, I'll just try and get speed boost power-ups. But I'm happy where I am. There is a shortcut there on the right, but I've not been able to take it yet. Because it just appears out of nowhere too fast. I'm doing pretty well this time. Why couldn't I do this well on the other races? This might help for me some points back. Ah, oh, I missed it again. I'm too nervous on that corner. Uh, shall I try and take the shortcut? I don't know where I am! Cool, it worked! Yay! You did it. I did it. It's a weird shortcut, it just takes you off into the snow. Right, where am I overall? Yay, I'm in first! I did it! Yay! There we go, another trophy! That's two trophies down. So that is everything in... Oh no! Yeah, is this everything? I've got the key, haven't I? Let's see. Yeah, we're exactly halfway through now. So, where to next? Let's do... Let's do the water area, yeah. Let's go and ask Taj for a hovercraft. Oh, there's a balloon up there, I forgot about that one. Let's go and get that first. Eventually you can go in there as well, that's where you fight Whizpig at the end. There he is. Come here. Do, 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 do. I like the fact that he's humming the theme tune as he's walking around. Select your vehicle. Alakazoo. Now we can go and try the hover course, hovercraft courses. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. When you 100% an area and get the trophy, it shows up on that board there. And then when that board's filled up, you can go inside this lighthouse here and then fly off into space. Which is really fun, and there's some great levels in there too. But for now, let's go and tackle these ones! And try and get the coins. Let's start with Whale Bay. Alright, now I remember that these start to get really challenging, so let's see if we can do this. 
There's one directly there on the right. Right, three blue balloons in a row there. So I usually spend the first lap just skating out where all the coins are. Because for those of you that have just joined, I'm at the point in the game where you have to replay all the levels and find uh, 10 silver coins and also finish in first place as well. So it's always good to uh, try and figure out where all the coins are first. Because you can try as many times as you want. Okay, there's only one left to get. And there it is! Wow, okay, that was easy. And now you just have to try and get back up to first place and stay there. Which is easier said than done. Especially in the hovercraft, because the controls are a bit strange. Take that, Banjo. Oh no, the whale went down. Oh, he just went back up as well. I could have gone up there. Never mind. Second. That's no good. You can only actually get the coins if you finish in first as well, so... Even though usually... Yeah, second would be great. No. You need to finish in first. So I might leave that coin there for the second lap. I think that's faster. There's not even a coin up there, that's quite surprising. I thought they would have hidden a coin up there. Well, we're doing better than last time. A lot better. Okay, last one is on the rock over there, if I remember right. Yeah, there it is. Easy. And we're, we're already in first. Now I just need to hold my lead. The physics are so good. It's, but I've said this a few times tonight, but considering this was Rare's first 3D racing game, they did an amazing job making it feel as good as it does. Oh, and it just made it up there then. Easy. Unless anyone boosts past me now at the last minute. Yay! Got another balloon. 32 now. Now we're going into this one. Crescent Island, I think it's called. Yeah. One of my favourite levels. Crescent Island. Oh yeah, and there's also a hidden uh, key in one of these stages as well, so if anyone spots like a path off the beaten track where well, you think there might be a key. Let me know, because I really don't remember where the keys are. Ooh, there's a coin there. I feel like there might be a coin on the uh, top floor up here as well, which is... <gasps> no, there was, but I missed it. I never got the top. There's also a really awkward coin all the way up there. million missiles. I remembered that one, because that's the shortcut I always take anyway. Uh, enjoy this music as well, this music's awesome. And there's one over there, and then Sharpton! Hey, not bad. Oh yeah, I need to go up the top. That's where the last one is, okay. We'll go there on the final lap. Oh, nice shortcut, straight into first, right at the end. Okay. Ah, I missed the speed boost though. 
Is someone going to come through there? No? I'm surprised someone didn't catch me off then. Okay, now we just have to try and... Go. Yes, got it! Go for it! Okay, now we just have to get to the end in one piece. Which should be easy if I can get the shortcut again. Perfect. Look at that! That was a perfect race. That's another set of coins complete. This is for you. Immaculate race. It was. I'm very, very pleased with myself there. I was in the zone. I wasn't even thinking about streaming then. Right. I were Lagoon. See, I must be enjoying this because I've been streaming for three hours now and I haven't got bored. Usually at this point, I'm completely out of energy. But I'm loving playing this game so much. And I love these coin challenges as well. Like, they actually make it a lot more fun. Uh, that's why they left this place open, because there's coins in the corner. There was a lot I missed then. Oh dear. Is there one on that side as well? No. Looks like there's only one on the right there. At least as far as I can see. I feel like there's one there as well. Why does that bit loop around on itself? Or maybe that's where the key is. I'll we'll have to do some exploring after to try and find all the keys. It's really reasonably priced, that's good. Makes a change. Ah! Okay, I am not finishing this in first now. I guess we can spend that time having a look at whatever's around here. If there's anything here. There's nothing there at all. Strange. I really thought there'd be something there. I know I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to check the other area, see if there's a key. Oh, it spun me around. No. I'm going to check the other area and see whether the key is hiding there. Can I get out? Oh no, I can't get up there. No, I can't get back up. Well, I don't think the key was there anyway. Let's restart. £25 for completing box. That's really good. Anyone who's watching this who doesn't already have a copy, get yourself on eBay right now before it's too late. Although it seems like it'll always be fairly cheap if it's still only 25 or so quid. That's excellent news. If you've noticed on eBay, I actually prefer the uh, Australian PAL box and the UK one because it's actually got a full, full size image rather than what we got in the UK, which was the black box with the uh, with the image only taking up a bit of it for some reason. So if you are getting a copy, go for the Australian one for the full color artwork. Hey, we got them all! And with one lap to go. Let's uh, stock up on some missiles. 
Oh, sludge. Sure. Let's grab a missile there, just in case. So I'm taking them corners a bit sharp, and when you take the sharp corners in the hovercraft, it slows you down a bit. But yay, we did it! There's another one down. I think there's only one more to go. I probably won't go for 100% tonight because it's nearly 11 o'clock and I don't want to stream too late because I've got to wake up for work tomorrow. But I'll definitely carry on and 100% it next time. Let's play for another half an hour or so. That'll take me up to 11 o'clock. Let's see how far we can get then. I wish that Mario Kart had this amount of single player content. I've always felt that that's something that Mario Kart is missing. Is like all the extra challenges and all the things that you can try and aim for outside of the regular Grand Prix modes. That's why I always loved Diddy Kong Racing so much more. Oh wow, there's only one left. I think it's just down here on the right. Yeah, there it is. Go for it! Oh no! Oh, no, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Third. Well, we'll try again. Do you want to know some of the games that I'm planning on streaming? I've got a list right here in front of me. So, there's there's two different ones. There's this series, which is going to be my childhood favourites. And next on this list is Sonic Adventure 2. Or Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Um, the original Donkey Kong Country trilogy. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. There are a few that I've got that I want to replay. And for a few that are on my backlog, quite different, but Silent Hill 3 is on there. Uh, Grandia on the Dreamcast. Or Grandia 2 on the Dreamcast. Uh, Monster Tale for the DS, although I want to actually get a copy of that first. But there you go. There's a little sneak peek into some of the games that I'm planning to stream and make videos on this year. So I hope you're looking forward to that. Hopefully that's an interesting list. I'm really excited to revisit the Sonic Adventure games. I'll revisit the first one as well. Oh my god, I'm doing terribly. I'm going to restart. Yeah, I keep mentioning Monster Tail on the Discord, but I really want to get that soon. It's so expensive though, but from what I've seen, it's worth it. Seems like a really interesting game. By the same team that made um, Henry Hatsworth, I believe, which is another really great DS game. I'll try and be a bit more careful this time. Yes, that's a lot better. And I took Banjo out straight in front of me. Poor bear. Ah. Oh my god, that was close. Yeah, we got them all! Awesome, now I just need to stay in first. Just make sure I hit all of the speed boosters. 
That's the most important thing. Yay! Easy. Sky Fox Gemini, hello. You were you was an absolute pro at this game. What happened? Are oh, you not a pro anymore? Okay, now we get to face the boss for the second time in the water area, the horrible octopus boss that I really, really hate. So let's see how I cope this time. Yeah, yeah I'm glad you like my list of games. I've got a few more, a few more on there as well, but I don't want to, you know, get too far ahead of myself and then get put off. So I want to try and tackle them one at a time. But I'm definitely thinking Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 after this. For the games that I've played before. I'm not too sure about the backlog one yet. I want to try and play an RPG, but obviously they take so long. Oh, what? That's not fair. I was in front of him. So in this race, he's swapped his uh, mine things from the last one onto the final uh, power-up stage, which is these bubbles that obviously lift you into the air and slow you down considerably. So it's much more... Frustrating to race against him this time. But two red missiles will slow him down a bit. Can I get him at the end of the tunnel? Not quite. If I'd lined that up better, I might have been able to. I don't know what the best idea is. Stick to the inside? Save up another red missile and get 10 and then hope that I can get close enough to hit him? Oh no, not if I do that. Oh, I think I've lost this. Oh my god, I get, I'm getting so far back that his bubbles are just popping by themselves. They do slow down near the end though, so maybe there's still a chance. Ah, uh, I wasn't too far off. It's been many years. You should give it a replay. Come and join us. Play Diddy Kong Racing again. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready now. I'm ready now. Let's race. Why does it start you outside? Okay, let's go. I need to remember, don't stay too, too close to him here or that happens. Let's start again. Just as I was saying that. Okay. I'm going to try and go round the other side. Maybe it's safer to go this way. Ah, I do not want to get stuck in any of his bubbles. Let's try again. I wonder if I can line that up to hit him as he's going around that corner. No, restart. I'm just going to keep restarting until at least I can do the first lap. Get ready. Even his laugh's annoying. Ah, oh, oh, oh. uh, restart. I'm sure I can line that up and hit him. I wonder if you can jump over the bubbles if you time it well enough. Damn it. Oh, Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron. That's a great game. I actually played that in two player a few years ago. You can actually have a look back on my channel. I played it with my friend Dean. We did a let's play of it. Ah. Oh. Or maybe it's only the first one because one of the video files corrupted. We played through both the Toe Jam and Earl games at one point. 
Oh, that was so close. Yeah, you should play something really nostalgic. I'm really enjoying replaying this. Wow, you have to be really precise with the missiles. Oh my god, he's so far ahead. I feel like I haven't even got a chance to catch back up. I also feel like it's not worth trying to get that speed boost power up there. But I haven't been hit by any of his bubbles yet, so that's a good sign. Yay, finally! Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared. I don't want to get too close. Ah! Oh. Okay, I'll let that one pass. Oh no, not two! Uh, I think I've lost now. Yeah, restart. Uh, thought your backlog pod was great. Definitely going to dedicate an hour here or there. If you can put Tears of the Kingdom down, yeah. I was, uh... I kind of wanted to play it tonight, but I knew that I also wanted to stream. But I'm glad you enjoyed the podcast. That's, uh, that's a topic I'd been thinking about doing a... Ah, hit the tree! That's a topic that I'd think been thinking about doing an episode on for a long time, so I'm glad that people enjoyed it. And I think it's something that a lot of people deal with in their own way as well. And it's had some really interesting discussions on YouTube. And there's me saying I want to clear stuff off my backlog and playing a game that I've already played a million times before instead. I'm going to stay on the right hand side of him, so I feel it might be safer. I don't know whether it's worth picking up that speed booster. Maybe not. I'll probably call it a night after this boss fight, or boss race, whatever you want to call it. Home in missile! No, I'm not risking it. Every time I try and get that, I end up getting hit. Oh no! I forgot I had a horn. Why, why would you need to use the horn? Uh, close. Oh, there's still a lap left. Hey, okay, maybe there's still a chance. Maybe it's better to take the inside line here, actually. And then pick up the yellow one from this wall. Or the red one, should I say. Thought I had a chance to hit him at the end of the tunnel. Oh no, now I've completely lost. Alright. Let's try again! I'll try going around the outside for the first bit, just to get rid of get away from them first two bubbles and pick that up and then move back inside here maybe it's kind of difficult picking that up though it worked though I don't think I've hit him that early in the level before and if I line that up well I can get another hit in Oh my god! Yes! 
No, just stay to the side so he doesn't touch me. Oh, that's not fair! How is he allowed to throw his bubbles to the side? Oh my god, if you fire the missiles in the air, they just go straight up. That's not fair. I think I've lost now. Ah, oh, hit the wall! Damn it! Yeah, no chance. He'll be right at the finish now. Oh my god, these are so unforgiving. And if you don't restart before the finish, you have to watch this cutscene every time as well. Try again. We can do it. At least do this one fight. Go. I'm not a quitter. Oh, I shouldn't have used that. scared to go anywhere near him. I can probably get hit in there if I'm careful enough. Oh, I don't want to be that close to him. Oh my god. Whoa, that was close. No! Always on the final lap. No, he's beat me. Right, I'm getting better, slowly. As a kid I could never do these second boss fights. Either. Not that I can do them as an adult, by the way. Oh, I tried to go as far to the side as possible then. Oh no, I missed the rocket. I think I'm still in with the chance though, if I'm careful. If I'd have hit him then, if I'd have hit him then, right at the end, that could have been it. Ah, so close. Okay, let's do it. So close.
Oh, I missed it. Damn. Let's try and get that to make up for it at least. And I missed the other one. This isn't a good start. Twice then, I almost had the chance to get him. Oh my god, I took that too wide. I think you guys have too much faith in me. I'm too far away. There is a third um, wave to this power-up, which lets you have 10 missiles, which might be worth trying to save up for. Come on! No! Oh, I was too far. Okay. This time! This time! This time! We have to watch this stupid cutscene again. Or maybe this is where the stream goes to die. We haven't even seen the final bosses yet, they're insane. Okay, this time, this time, this time. Got any advice or anything you think I'm doing that I could be doing better? Or how about not hitting the tree? That's probably a good start. I keep thinking I can hit him there. Damn it. It's annoying that it doesn't pop the bubble at least. Ah, uh, his hitbox is so small. I bounced through them. Ah, uh, let's try again. This time. This time I can feel it. That was a nice start. I didn't even bump off him then. So close. Maybe that's the idea. Shoot him as soon as possible. and use that speed up one.
Yes. I'm ahead. No, don't do anything stupid. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm genuinely scared. I think I'm safe. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Yes! We did it! Finally! Ah. Oh my god, now I can breathe. That was a lot. Yay! Yeah, we got another piece of the amulet. Woo! One minute to go. Oh yeah, it's 11 o'clock. Perfect timing too. One more piece to get. We'll get that on the next stream. Yay. Right, we'll end it there for today. Thank you everyone who joined me tonight to play through Diddy Kong Racing. I had an absolutely fantastic time revisiting this game and I really hope you all enjoyed watching it as well. There will be a video coming, but for now, probably next Tuesday because I'm away for the weekend starting on Thursday. So I'm trying to uh, get my video done before Friday. But yeah, join me again next week at the same time as we carry on this Diddy Kong racing adventure. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye. Oh, I need to come over here to turn the stream off. Bye. I'm still here. Bye. Can I end it on that?